And this is a view from above downtown Raleigh as the Highway Patrol shows off the newest weapon in their fight against crime. CBS 17's Holden Kerwicki, one of the first people in the Tar Heel State to take a ride in the new multi million dollar chopper. He joins us now live outside the Highway Patrol training facility with a look inside. Holden. Well, Angela, Marius, I have to say those choppers are a smooth ride. They're also bigger and faster than the old Bell helicopters that they're replacing, but they're necessary after a training exercise accident just one year ago. We're used to seeing them keep us safe on the streets. Each and every day, we ask state troopers all throughout our state to go out and do a very dangerous job. Now the North Carolina State Highway Patrol is adding more eyes to the sky. These are definitely game changers for our organization. The Highway Patrol is adding two new helicopters to their arsenal that come with a $4 million price tag. And Commander Glenn McNeil says they're worth every penny. We view it as being a blessing. We have already seen these aircraft save lives. However, it's a cost that might not have been necessary if not for a crash during a training exercise last June. It certainly accelerated our discussions, but we've been in discussions all the while concerning uh, upgrading the technology, upgrading our aircraft to maintain that, uh, to be on the cutting edge of law enforcement and public safety. Both passengers in that accident were able to walk away without a scratch, but the technology on the new choppers ensure that it won't be that easy for criminals trying to avoid an arrest. From seven miles away, we can literally see the buttons on your shirt. It was that technology that allowed a quick arrest when Trooper Daniel Harrell was shot near Elm City in January. With the awesome technology that we have aboard these two aircraft, they were able to identify and locate a very dangerous person. So in my eyes, locating that one very dangerous person that had harmed one of our state troopers, they've already paid for themselves. These helicopters will be in the skies all across North Carolina seven days a week. I'm told they will actually be used more to assist local agencies tracking down missing persons or assisting with swift water rescues. Live in Raleigh, Holden Kruicki, CBS 17 News.